Hi Libra and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Libra. If your Sun sign doesn't resonate so much this week, you might like to check out your Moon sign or your Rising sign and for love and romance your Venus sign because often these readings will contain messages which are important to you at this time. Let's call in your angels and guides to be present during this reading for Libra. Guidance and messages for Libra, please, Spirit. Guidance and messages for Libra. This is a general reading, so please just take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. There are going to be many different messages that come through. Just take what resonates for you. Guidance for Libra, please, Spirit. Be sure to filter the information that comes through in the reading through your own intuition. That is how spirit speaks directly to you. You may see an image on one of the cards or perhaps the writing. And the message on one of the cards really stands out to you. Perhaps it's an answer to a question you have or really resonates with a situation that you're going through right now. If you enjoy the reading, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you like the content. Subscribe and press that notification bell if you would like to. I really do love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings that are specific to you and your circumstances, you can visit katietarot.com and all the information will be there about personal readings. Guidance for Libra, please. Guidance for Libra. Let's take a look at your first message. The Angel of Fertility. Now this is always a good sign if you're wanting to procreate, if you're wanting to have children. And this means that it's a fertile time or there's a blessing on your life in, in that regard. Now, this can also mean, because that's not going to resonate with everyone, of course, I, this also means that there's a relationship that's blooming here. I'm seeing a partnership and it may come as a surprise to you, but uh, this, this relationship that you're starting or perhaps you have an interest in someone, it will blossom. It will blossom from where it is right now. There may actually be something that happens um, a conversation, a heart to heart, uh, just a, an energy shift and change that you'll feel between you and this other person. Okay, so there is that energy. I'm also seeing here that if there's a project or an interest or something that you're wanting to pursue this week that really catches your attention, something you're wanting to bring to life, put energy into and manifest it. I'm seeing that you'll be fruitful in that. There's fertile ground to plant seeds for the future Libra this week. So um, if you're needing to or wanting to feeling that you have to plan, that's the that's the urge, that's the inspiration spirit is trying to give you to say, yes, now is the right time to plant these seeds, to lay a solid foundation, to um, to make specific choices um, that are going to propel you forward in the best way for you. So really nice energy to come up to begin your reading. Let's take a look at this card here. We have the rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time for you. So both of these cards are fertility cards, actually, because the rabbit is symbolic of fertility as well and growth and development and newness coming in creating something new. Um, so this energy is very prominent in this reading. Something is going to blossom from where you are now. It's, you're going to really have a ramping up of the energies in your life. And you'll know it, which area of life this is for you, Libra. You'll, you will know if this resonates for you. I am also seeing perhaps a, a child in heaven here or... A mothering energy 
So either perhaps your mother or a child is in heaven here and you're together. So this means that you're actually one of you is here on earth. One of you is in heaven, but there's a connection here between you both. So I just need to mention that because that's what I'm seeing. So a lucky time this week is going to bring good luck no matter what you're doing, especially though when it comes to creating something new. Let's take a look at this card here. Most of life will unfold in accordance with forces far outside your control, regardless of what your mind says about it. So there is an element here of letting go and letting things flow in your life because there may actually be something that is outside of your control, but you're wanting to control it, but you can't. OK, because it's just not the way that it is. So an acceptance is coming through with this card, an acceptance of what is. It may actually be causing you some stress mentally, so that may be something to reflect on. A year from now, a year from now, there may be um, actually the, the fruit here of uh, the seed, the plant that you are focusing on. Uh, so what you're planting now, what you are... Um, wanting to bring through that this fertile time a year from now you're going to accomplish it there's going to be a fruition of it a completion of it an abundance come through here a year from now something very important is going to happen when it comes to fertility growth creativity and also for some of you it's going to be for a year from now it's going to be very different to how things are, are now when it comes to forces that are outside of your control. So that will be interesting how it plays out in your life uh, this week and um, in the weeks to come. The world this is about completion and new cycle starting for you. So yes, there is a new relationship or a new interest that is going to be blossoming this week. It may have already started or maybe coming in very soon. The Six of Pentacles is about looking at where your resources and energy are going. Are you putting your energy, resources and attention in the right place? Really, is it balancing? Are you getting energy back towards you as well? So is it a one way street with energy or is it are you getting rewarded for your efforts or are you not? This can also indicate charity of some kind. So you may be involved in a charity or giving more this week um, to someone or to, to something in your life. You may be volunteering, perhaps. You have the Ten of Swords, really the end to a, end to a difficult mindset or conversation or relationship. Or there's, there's just an ending here. Someone may have stabbed you in the back. Um, so then, yeah, just a difficult situation that's coming to a close. That's what I'm seeing. This may be quite a relief for some of you, Libra, actually. Um, but it's definitely finished over, over and done with. And the tower energy as well. Something's been quite traumatic, dramatic, tumultuous energy um, happening here in your life in some way. Um, if it resonates, you'll know exactly what area of life this is for you, Libra. Tower means something out of the blue often, and that would make sense with this card here. You know, your life is unfolding in accordance with forces outside your control, regardless of how you feel about it and regardless about what your mind is saying. So there's that to deal with. There's that to accept and to and to deal with that. And that's what I'm seeing. So this may be heal, healing, actually, for some of you. Healing and then moving on from that. And recognizing often with the tower, it actually means that there is um, a need for this to end because... Or, yeah, a need for this situation to end or to wrap up and to finalize... Um, because it's just not meant for you anymore. You know, you're, you've got to look at this energy coming in and going out. Was it fair? Was it equal? Are you now, see the positives in this change. Are you now able to have more time to spend on you or to spend with 
your family or your loved ones or on what you really want to do. You know, so you've got to look at the positives here with these energies and the lovers. OK, so this is Gemini's card. You may have a Gemini around you. The lovers energy. Going back to that love relationship blossoming. Well, this definitely confirms that for some of you, you'll know if that's you. But there's also an energy here, of course, of coming close to um, and manifesting and making choices around what you're wanting to bring in, what you're what you're planting, the the fertility, the the growth and development um, that it looks like is going to take place over a year. And then the fruition is going to come in around about a year's time. So this is a very uh, highly successful card, um, given these other uh, cards around it. Uh, so yeah, you've got a really nice read here. Libra, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead, and I'll talk to you all again soon.